What is going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to train your biceps from home at the gym. Doesn't matter where you are as long as you have access to a pair of dumbbells. We're going to be attacking every section of our biceps in this video right here man. So if that kind of stuff interests you, make sure to stick around for this video right here. But before we begin, I'll let you guys know that this workout also requires no bench at all. Let's get this party started y'all. Let's not waste any more time. Okay, so here we go. For our first workout here, we've got some hammer curl. Four sets, eight to 12 reps each. So you want to use heavy dumbbells if you have them, lightweights only, then do more reps. So do between 12 to 15. Start with both arms holding both dumbbells along each side. Okay, to begin or to continue this, with the hammer grip, curl the dumbbell all the way up, alternating arms each time. Uh, here's a note, you want to squeeze your biceps each time you curl the you know, dumbbells upwards. Some more tips you should note, make sure your body is in the same position throughout. Try to keep your body from swinging back and forth too much. It's gonna happen a little bit, but try to you know, restrict it, so be conscious of it. Next tip here, so you want to keep your elbows tucked to your sides. Try to prevent it from flaring outwards. So just tuck it to your sides, you know, give it that grip, uh, hold it there and just maintain it, maintain that position. So this one targets uh, the outer biceps and forearms for aesthetics. So it also adds size, but it's great for aesthetics and for targeting, you know, the outer biceps. For this workout and every other one, take 45 seconds between each set and each exercise. Okay, here we go, number two, bicep curl. Four sets, eight to 12 reps. All right, for this one, you want to also, you know, follow the same weight rules and start with both arms holding the dumbbells along each side. Next tip here, you want to curl the dumbbell all the way up, alternating arms each time. So, like I said before, always squeeze your biceps, especially when you're training them. Next tip here, so make sure your body is in the same position throughout, just like the last one, and try to keep it from swinging back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys to do me a little favor and hit that subscribe button, as well as turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Some more tips for this one. Keep your elbows tucked to your side, just like the last one, and prevent flaring. Flaring is when your elbows, you know, leave your sides and they're all over the place, so stop that. Don't let, don't let that happen. Final tip, so this one focuses on training the general bicep and adding size. You wanna build, you know, large biceps? Then go ahead and do some bicep curls with heavy dumbbells. Number three, inward bicep curl. Four sets, eight to 12 reps. The same weight rule applies to this one as well, so start with both ar arms holding the dumbbells along each side, just like the last two. To do this one, you want to curl the dumbbell inward all the way up, alternating arms each time. So squeeze your biceps, as always, I'm going to remind you about that every single time because that's how important it is. Some more tips, make sure your body is in the same position throughout. So this one is also repetitive like the last two, so this is always going to be a constant. Okay, keep your elbows in the same position every time with this one, just like the rest of the other ones as well. So that's very important. Elbow positioning is important with dumbbell work, um, bicep workouts. This one focuses on training the inner and uh, the forearm. So the inner bicep and your forearms is the main target of this exercise. And do not forget, only 45 seconds should be taken between each set. At number four, we got outward X reverse curl, our first hybrid, four sets, eight to 12 reps. For this one, you want to use lightweight dumbbells as this is a hybrid. Start with both arms holding both dumbbells outward along each side. So just like the rest of them, except this time you want it outwards. Okay, to do this, uh, curl the dumbbells outward together until they're all the way up. Squeeze your biceps each and every single rep. Okay, to complete the hybrid, you want to quickly switch from an outward grip to a uh, reverse grip and curl again 
for one rep of this exercise. So to complete one rep, you have to do one of each. More tips for you guys. So make sure your body is in the same position throughout. As always, try to keep your body from swinging back and forth or side to side, anywhere at all. Okay, another tip you should note, maintain contact between both dumbbells as you curl the dumbbells with the reverse grip. So when you switch to the second part of the hybrid, you make sure that the dumbbells meet at the center and maintain contact. The first part of the hybrid focuses on training the smaller outer bicep muscles. The second part of the hybrid focuses on training the outer bicep as well as your forearms. At number five, we've got bicep to hammer curl. Slow, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Okay, just like the last one, use lightweight dumbbells because this is also a hybrid and start with both arms holding both dumbbells along each side. Next up, for the first part of this, curl the dumbbells all the way up together and then twist 90 degrees into a hammer grip to complete the second part of it. Okay, so for the second part, you want to let the dumbbells down slowly. So count three seconds in your head as you do this. So count one to three as you do this uh, exercise. Some more tips for you guys right here. Make sure your body is in the same position as always throughout and try to keep it from swinging back and forth, forward and back, or even side to side, anywhere. Just keep it from swinging. I love this one because it trains every section of your bicep and your forearm. So it attacks every region since you're combining multiple uh, workouts to form the hybrid. Okay, at the last one, we've got single bicep X hammer curl plus hold. So four sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. For this one, you want to follow the same weight rules and start with uh, both of your arms holding dumbbells along your side. To continue this one, you want to curl one dumbbell all the way up and then hold it there before you know deciding to continue. All right, to complete the hybrid, what you wanna do is with the second arm, curl and alternate between a supinated and the hammer grip. So a regular bicep curl grip to a hammer grip. Okay, this one targets all sections of your bicep and forearms as well, cause you have it all engaged the entire time. All right, here's some more tips. Make sure you keep the dumbbell being held up at the same height throughout. And also when you switch arms, make sure you know you hold the, the, the second dumbbell at the same height as you held the first one. Finally, as always, make sure your body is in the same position throughout and try to keep your body from swinging back and forth. Also, do not forget about the, the timing to take between sets and exercises, so 45 seconds. I would advise doing this alongside some of my other workouts. So let's say my back workouts with no bench at all. You can do this workout, you know, paired with that. Just take maybe three or 
four of the workouts from here and mix it with about two from there or take three from here and mix you know with three from there that way you can create a good combination because training your biceps you'd want to do that at least twice to three times a week to see any progress at all if you're training any muscle group and you want to see progress aim for two or three times a week that way you can keep that muscle growing you can keep shocking it i hope you guys enjoy this one if you enjoyed it make sure to give the video a thumbs up leave a comment down in the comment section if you have any questions or any suggestions or you just want to say hello if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and join my notification gang hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button if you want to see some more videos like this one make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and i'll catch you guys in my next video it's your boy midas and I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs>